everyone. I hope you're all doing well. And in episode 55 of Gone But Not Forgotten, I will be talking about Michael Gambon and give you my thoughts about this great guy and wish him well as he rests in peace. I hope that you will all find this video informative as we honor the memory of this man. But first, a thank you to Keely Chow for suggesting that we honor the memory of this man. Now, for those who are unaware, providing context courtesy of Wikipedia, quote, Sir Michael John Gambon, CBE, born on the 19th of October 1940 and passing away on the 27th of September 2023, was an Irish-English actor who started his acting career with Laurence Olivier as one of the original members of the Royal National Theatre. Over his six-decade-long career, he received three Olivier Awards and four BAFTA TV Awards. In 1998, he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for services to drama. Gambon gained wider recognition through his role of Albus Dumbledore in the Harry Potter film series from 2004 to 2011, replacing Richard Harris following his death in 2002. Unquote. Now that's quite the journey, folks, though a life well lived, which is always good to see. Now on to my personal views regarding Michael Gambon. Now personally, ladies and gentlemen, I was aware of Michael Gambon prior to the man's death, as well as prior to the suggestion of Keely Chow. Thanks again, by the way. Though after a bit of investigating, which mostly consists of internet browsing and analysis of social media, all the while going through the life and career of Michael Gambon, I have found him to be a talented actor who stood the test of time across multiple decades, across multiple genres, and across multiple forms of entertainment, from theatre to television and film, which goes to show what kind of a talent this man was. Though he was far from perfect, folks, it is a shame that Michael passed away as a result of pneumonia. I am sure that the life and legacy of Michael Gambon will always remain, although I'll always remember him from Top Gear and his two-wheeled corner of the final turn of the track, named Gambon after him. His two appearances on Top Gear will always be my key memories of the man. Ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Gambon may be gone, but he will never be forgotten, as he lives on in the hearts and minds of all those who are a part of his life, from family to friends to fans as well, as we all ensure that the best parts of Michael will remain with us forevermore, leaving behind a legacy that will no doubt inspire many people for many more years to come. Where he is gone but not forgotten. Thank you all very much for watching, and have a great day. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, bye for now.